Hello guys, today we are going to see this problem called Domino, which is uh, easy version of uh, D problem, which is asked in Code Forces round 734 division 3. So let me read the problem statement first. So there is a table of n into m cells, n rows and m columns. The value of n into m is even. So please note this point that a value of n into m is always even. Uh, a domino is a figure that consists of two cells having a common side. So domino is nothing but uh, a a figure which consists of two cells which occupies two cells that has a common side so it may be either horizontal or it may be a uh, vertical so one of the cells is uh, to the right of the other so if uh, if, if uh, a domino occupies two cells so uh, if if horizontal domino is nothing but it, it is present row wise uh, vertical domino is nothing but it presents column wise so let me uh, clear while explaining uh, sample test cases so you need to find out whether it is possible to place n into m dominoes so here um, uh, they have given uh, n into n, n into m cells there will be n into m cells so uh, there, there obviously there will be n into m uh, entries in the table and hence if a domino occupies two cells there will be n by n n m by two dominoes which can be exactly occupied in the on the table and uh, uh, the condition given here is that there should be exactly k of them are horizontal so k of the domino should be exactly horizontal and the remaining the thing should be vertical the dominoes cannot overlap and must fill the whole table so these dominoes should not uh, overlap and fill the whole table and each cell should contain a, a, a part of a domino so this is all the input uh, constraints and output so let's look at uh, some of the sample test cases so here they have given like for n4 and m4 and the, there should be exactly two uh, horizontal dominoes so let us look at this um, this is the condition given so 4 4 2 n is 4 and m is 4 and k is 2 so k is nothing but uh, the number of uh, exact uh, uh, number of uh, horizontal dominoes that should be exactly present in in this table. So first we should we will fill the table with uh, horizontal dominoes. So uh, I will number the first domino with uh, number one. So this is nothing but horizontal domino which is present row wise which has a call as common side right. So I am going to uh, insert the second domino like here something here. Okay. Now uh, I have filled uh, all my uh, horizontal dominoes and the remaining task is to fill the remain, uh, remaining cells with vertical dominoes so I will be filling with just randomly like something like this 6 6 7 7 8 8 So I can fill exactly 8 dominoes which is nothing but 4 into 4 divided by 2 Now um, I have exactly 2 uh, horizontal dominoes and the remaining things are all vertical dominoes so here you can see here all these things share a common side and this is present uh, column wise and this is present row wise so this is the difference between a horizontal domino and a vertical domino now uh, let's see uh, this results always yes so this is nothing but it, it, we, we should print yes since we can accommodate exactly two horizontal dominoes and we can fill the other spaces with uh, vertical dominoes but there are such conditions something like uh, we can't fill uh, with exactly uh, given k dominoes. So consider this case phi 2 2. So uh, phi rows are present, uh, two columns, and there should be exactly k, that, which is nothing but two uh, horizontal dominoes. So if I, if I have to fill the horizontal domino only here right so I don't have any other column left here so I have to go to the second row and I am going to fill with a second domino, horizontal domino now I need to fill the remaining things with vertical dominoes since only three rows left uh, three uh, rows left I, 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 I would not fill uh, there is no possibility to fill it with uh, vertical dominoes only right so even if I fill something like this 3 3 like if I write 4 here there is no space for here no space for me to fill uh, the uh, another another cell where I have to write the four. But uh, so if I even write four four here, uh, I can only uh, insert an another horizontal uh, domino, not a vertical domino. Here uh, we can't have exactly uh, two horizontal dominoes. Hence our answer is no. So we can print no to this, right? So here the answer is no. Five to two, the answer is no. This is what the question. Let us look at uh, our approach. 
So as we see in the question that n into m is always even, we'll have three conditions based on this con uh, this given statement. So if n n into m is even, uh, we have three conditions. That is n is even and m is odd. Uh, n is odd and m is even. So and n is even and m is even. So either n is even or m is even or both n is even and n is even. So there is nothing but uh, these three conditions. So we should uh, uh, print accordingly. We should check the conditions accordingly uh, for, uh, for all these three conditions. So first we will consider uh, the first we will consider consider situation where n is even and m, m is even. So for example, I have taken uh, six rows and six columns. Okay, so uh, I have six rows and six columns and I need to fill it with uh, dominoes. So for example, first I'm going to fill it with uh, a single domino. So I'm going to fill this one, these two cells with a domino. Now, if I try to fill the remaining things with a vertical dominoes, um, I will not be able to fill it with uh, remaining with vertical dominoes as I have only five rows remaining. I can't fill it with vertical dominoes as a domino uh, needs two cells. These the remaining uh, the rows should be always even, right? So these two rows, these two uh, cells are occupied by a domino. These two cells are occupied by a domino, and these this this uh, cell remains empty, right? So I can't fill it with a vertical domino. So what I want to uh, check here is that the number k value should be always even. So consider if I have filled the uh, first domino and I'm going to fill the second domino here. So uh, second domino here, sorry. I can comfortably fill the comfortably fill the remaining rows uh, with vertical dominoes, right? So here I, I will be left with even number of rows and I can easily fill the uh, Table uh, cells with uh, vertical dominoes. See here, five, five, six, six. So I can easily insert like something seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. So I can easily fill these values. So k value should be always e uh, even. So if k mod two equal to equal to zero, print yes. Else we should print no. This is the condition uh, we need to check when uh, n is even and m is also even. This this is this condition is sufficient uh, to uh, arrive at answer when n is even and m is even. Next thing we are going to see is n is odd and m is even. So this is the condition. Next we are going to check. So if n is odd, I should fill the first row. Yeah, I, not uh, not uh, necessarily the first row, but I need to fill a row entirely with horizontal dominoes. Only then I'll be left with even number of rows such that I can fill it with vertical dominoes. So uh, I think it will be clear for you guys. Uh, let me explain with an example. So consider k equal to two. So I'll be filling. Wait. So consider uh, k equal to two. I'll be filling these two, these two things, something like this. Uh, here, uh, I can't fill, I can't fill vertical dominoes here, right? So if I try to fill three, three, four, four, I I can write only five, but not the next five, right? So I can't uh, fill entirely. So even if you consider something like this, two, two. Again, uh, here also uh, I'll have uh, odd number of rows, and I can't fill the uh, fill these entry fill these cells with uh, vertical dominoes. So uh, I should always maintain uh, value such that the row count is always even. So, uh, so only then I can fill the remaining spaces with vertical dominoes. So I should fill the first row. Entirely with vertical dominoes. So only then I will have even number of uh, rows and I can fill with, with vertical dominoes. Say so I can write 7788 and I can fill the entire uh, rows. 
so this is the condition next i have entered i have filled the, all these rows now in this case the uh, minimum k value should be 4 so minimum k value should be 4 only then i can uh, exactly fit in uh, uh, k dominoes into this uh, k word horizontal dominoes into this table and if i have more dominoes like k equal to 5 for example k equal to 5 so i have filled the first row now i'm going to start filling from here even now you consider here there are odd number of rows left so 3 4 5 just nothing but 3 rows left so if you have 3 rows left you can't fill it with vertical dominoes so uh, that should uh, after filling uh, after filling the first row there should be at least even uh, there should be even number of dominoes left with us so that is the case for this n is odd and m is even so uh, let me simplify by writing yeah if first thing I should check is if n is less than so if I can't fill uh, the first row then I should uh, uh, then I should print no so if k is less than m by 2 so if it is less than 4 in this case I am going to print no directly uh, uh, so uh, uh, we have more than uh, m by 2 dominoes right so uh, we need to fill more than m by 2 dominoes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to subtract k minus m by 2 so i have filled the first uh, row entirely with uh, horizontal dominoes and i'll I have, I have left with exactly k dominoes now to fill with so if this k is even i'm going to print s yes. else I'm going to print no so the first thing we need to check is uh, the first thing we need to check is whether I can fill the first row with horizontal dominoes and after filling the uh, first row with horizontal dominoes the remaining dominoes left should be divisible by 2 only then I should print yes else I should print no this is the condition for n is odd and m is even case we are going to check for this condition where n is even and m is odd. So consider n as 8 and uh, m as 5. So here 5 is odd and 8 is even, hence n is even and m is odd. So first, uh, I'm going to fill it with one exactly one horizontal domino. So I'm going to fill something like this. So here I'll be left with seven rows, right? So seven rows means we can't fill it with vertical dominoes. So here also we should have exactly even number of dominoes. So K should be always divisible by two, right? So that is one condition we should check whether when uh, N is even and M is odd. And now if I try to fill uh, second domino here and third domino, so I will be filling all these dominoes, horizontal dominoes here, but I can't fill one row entirely with horizontal dominoes. So I can have only exactly, exactly I can, uh, at most I can have n into m by 2 minus n by 2. So here I, I, I can't have an entire row that is 8 cells, I can't have uh, horizontal dominoes. So, 8 cells means 8, do, uh, 8 by 2 which is nothing but 4 dominoes so which is nothing but n by 2 dominoes I can't have in, in the entire domino as horizontal domino so I am going to subtract the uh, n by 2 from the uh, entire domino count so if this is so if k value is not equal to this and k is even only then only then I can print yes else I should print no so uh, here we have here we have e odd number of columns so we can't uh, each uh, horizontal domino takes two column count so uh, Obviously, one column entirely will be left out. Uh, we can't fill it with horizontal dominoes. So that 
will will be uh, uh, completely utilized by uh, vertical dominoes not the horizontal dominoes so the k value should be always less than or equal to n into m by 2 minus n by 2 so where n into m by 2 is the total domino count where and n by 2 is the total number of dominoes that can be filled in in uh, entire column so this uh, these two conditions should be checked whether uh, when uh, n is even and m is odd so that's it for now this is the approach for this solution so meet you soon in the next video